I am going to be making brown butter, honey lemon, garlic, pepper, shrimp. We make pepper shrimp quite a bit, but this is a little bit different. It's like a different take on like shrimp scampi. So you have the butter, which add a little bit of richness. It'll add some, um, you know, juiciness to it as well. Help to make the shrimp nice and um, tender, juicy, moist. And then in addition to that, you'll have the lemon, which will add a little bit of acid. Lemon as well just goes really nicely with seafood. Um, you'll have the honey, which will add a little bit of sweetness. I'm going to use garlic chili sauce, which is like my favorite way to add spice, right? Because I think it adds a lot of flavor without being too overpowering with like the peppery aspect of it. And the shrimp, actually, I just um, soaked it a little bit in... Um, some water with a little bit of lemon um which i think like you can add lemon at the end but i like to add it in the beginning when i'm making um fish i don't like like really strong fishy smells and stuff and it's fresh shrimp but at the same time i i don't like that rankish kind of smell to it so i wash it down with a little bit of salt um a little bit of lemon juice fill the bowl with water and let it just sit for a few minutes and that's another thing because it's in the shell like sometimes if you don't have it in the shell you notice it'll start to turn pink and that kind of um reduces your cooking time right or that time during which you can overcook it so by having it in the shell you can like season it up with a little bit of salt prior to that you can wash it down with a little bit of lemon juice and salt and it won't start turning pink prematurely so here i have two pounds of jumbo shrimp or um which would be 21 to 25 per pound shrimp and it's shell on um tail on but deveined right i like to cook shrimp in the shell the reason being i think it's a lot like cooking meat where when you cook um on the bone or you cook in the shell it gets more flavor i think so i like to cook it in the shell i find it's a little bit more forgiving even like grilling i find that grilling in the shell it gives it a lot more flavor especially if like the head is on uh, you get more flavor it's more forgiving I like shrimp cooks pretty quickly if you leave it for a minute or two long you can always remove the shell the meat on the inside is still going to be nice and tender i'll let you know i don't like cayenne pepper at all i think it's just hot for no reason and adds no real kind of flavor so typically when i'm going to use like a chili sauce or something like that or i want to spice something else that's my go-to um spice like pepper sauce garlic chili sauce and so to the shrimp I'm going to flavor it very simply because you're going to have so much stuff going on with like the sauce that we put together. So I am going to add a bit of um, seasoning salt, some black pepper, and just a sprinkle of paprika. Mix this up. And all the rest of the stuff I'm just going to put directly into the pan to make the sauce. This I'm going to let sit for a few minutes. So this here I'm going to leave just for a few minutes while I start the sauce in the pan. Okay, so here I have a pan with four tablespoons of butter that um, I'm just melting over medium heat. And this is going to start forming the foundation of my um, sauce. To this I am going to add two tablespoons of garlic. Minced garlic, that is. And so previously in the pan, I'd um, browned some minced garlic for another recipe. And I just left it, like after I took out the garlic from there, because it had browned and caramelized a bit in the bottom. And I actually want the butter and the garlic to brown. So in putting it in here, you have a little bit of liquid. And so the liquid hitting the hot pan kind of helps to deglaze the, um, the browning from the previous garlic. But I'm gonna just let this cook for a little bit. To this, I am going to add a tablespoon of um, chili garlic sauce. Actually, I'm gonna add two. I'm just gonna stir that up. And I'm gonna squeeze in half a lemon. Try to keep the seeds out, but if you get some in, it's not the end of the world. You can just pick them out. And now, I still have the honey to add, but because of the sugar content in honey, I don't want it to burn, so I'm gonna add that last. 
And so at this point, the garlic needs to cook a little bit more, but you have like the acidity from the lemon. You certainly have a little bit of the spice from the, gar from the um, chili garlic sauce. And when you add in the honey, you know, that's really gonna bring the flavors together. And so to this, I'm now gonna add just a tablespoon of honey. And just mix that all in. I'm actually gonna add just a little bit more honey to it. So that'll bring it up to about two tablespoons. I like it needs a little bit more of this, a little bit more of that, go ahead, add. Just be careful, you know, start with less because you can always add, but you can't take out. Especially when it comes to salt and things like that, and pepper. The garlic has lost that raw flavor. Some people like it, I do not. And now then the sauce is just perfect. It's not overly sweet because you have the balance of the lemon, which adds just like a nice little tart flavor to it. And so at this point, I'm now gonna add in the shrimp. All right, so shrimp in. There we go. Just stir it around. And just, you know, to make sure that all of the shrimp are nicely coated so that they all pick up the flavor. So this won't really take any kind of time to cook. I'm just taking the time to stir it up so that like it's all nicely coated in that um, in that sauce. And you can see they're starting to turn pink. Just let it sit and simmer until they turn pink. And so now it's been a few minutes. As you can see, the shrimp are done, right? Like they split open. It's nice and opaque. The shell is pink. Good to go. Nice and saucy. Just gonna take them out and we're all done. Really nice, quick, simple thing. I think this you can certainly do with some pasta. I'm gonna do like a surf and turf thing with this. You can even do this with just a little bit of bread. Put this over some rice. Nice vegetable on the side. You have like a real simple meal. You know, sky's the limit. It's really up to you and what you wanna do. Thanks for tuning in. To ensure you don't miss any episodes, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and check out my cooking at home playlist. Go ahead and click that thumbs up button if you like what you saw, and go ahead and share it on social media.